Hey guys, me, Jonathan Graham. Today, uh, yes, last week I showed you how to make the seamless house that I designed. I don't have one with me right now. But this week I'm going to show you this barn that I designed just after that. It's a variation of the house. As you can see, it has a hip roof shape to it. So I'll show you how to make this. This is from a 6 inch square. And then we're going to make it with 6 inch square. So we're going to start with the color side down. In this case, it's a dual paper, and I want the, the, it to be darker blue, so I can have that facing down. We're going to divide the paper into thirds. And the way I do it is you kind of fold it like this. This is sort of a tricky step to do. You want to do this accurately because. like that, and you're going to pinch it once it's divided into thirds. So your color side is down, in this case the darker blue side, it's because it's dual paper. And you're going to fold it in thirds. Pretty easy, right? Now you're going to fold it in half. How, how, take your paper so that you have it like this with the... going like this. We're going to fold this in half, but we're only going to crease in between the two thirds. So only the center third. Because this is a seamless model, we want to try to avoid creasing areas we didn't don't need to crease. Then we're going to take this edge and bring it to the center here. And again, we're only going to crease the center third. But this time, we're also going to crease. We're going to also do a pinch on each end, only pinching on the ends here. So on this one, you have the center third with the crease, and then the pinch is here. Rotate it around, and we're going to do the same on the side. Fold to the center. And you're only going to make a crease on the center third, but you are going to also pinch on the outside edges. Make these pinches fairly sharp because you need these later on. Then we're going to take this and fold it to here. Folding an eighth. This time we're just going to fold in the middle here. And again, bring this raw edge to this outer crease. And this is an eighth. And again, only creasing the center third. Now we're going to take the middle and we're going to make a valley fold that goes from the center here where this third intersects this middle crease and it's going to go from there to the corner so I'm going to just kind of bring it I'm going to have to make sure this is all the way in the middle we're going to make the crease so I'm going to just crease it here and you just want to start at the center and go all the way to the corner and you're just going to crease from the center of the corner, and again, you can see the center is here. We're going to make another crease here. And now we're going to do the same on the side. So we'll turn it over this way, and we'll do this side here, starting in the center. And just making it go all the way out to the corner. Crease it well, unfold, and now we'll go this way. There, as you can see, we have it. So we have a crease pattern that looks like this. Now we're going to start making it into the barn shape. So we're going to start by bringing these two mountain folds together. We're going to pleat them, these two folds together. Crease it really well, like that. And we're going to do that on all four corners. So there's one side. There's two sides. Bring these. It should go right to the corner there. Make sure they're lined up. There's one side, and we're going to take this other corners, line up the two mountain folds, creating a valley fold in between, and on this side again, you're going to take these two mountain folds and just bring them together. Open this up to make sure it's nice and creased in nice. So now we're going to do the next part. Now we're going to fold the next part. We're going to take these. The, there's, you see you have a crease here and a crease here. We're going to take the uppermost crease and we're going to just reinforce it by pinching it. And we're going to turn it around this way. Make sure that these are folded like this so that this flap is not like this, but it's against this side like this. And you're going to crease here, pinch here. And now we're going to make a crease, that, a mountain fold, that goes from this point here to this pinch mark. That's why I made those pinch marks. So we're going to go like this. And you can see how it's going to start at this corner and go to the pinch mark. I'm really going to crease from there to there. And we're going to do that on all four sides. So there's one side, here's the other side. Again, from this point to, it's a little harder to see this one, but there's that pinch mark right there. 
that it's in the same place as the last one was, crease it. Turn it around. Go from there to there's the pinch right there. And the last one, basically connecting the two points, this point and the pinch mark with the mountain cold. Crease it well. Now we're going to take this again and we're going to pleat these together. So we're going to take these two layers, these two, you hold like this, you can have two flaps. You're going to hold them like as if it was one. And you're going to bring this to this other mountain fold that we just made and crease it, making sure that this is laying on this side, not on this side. Same here, we're going to bring this in. There's another corner, another one, bringing these edges together. And the last corner, bring this crease that to there. And make sure you do this accurately so you get a nice effect. So now you kind of have what looks like, sort of like a barn, you can see how it's taking shape. Now we just have to make the sides straight. So to do that, we're going to go on the side here and do a similar thing we did the last time. So we're going to pinch this lowermost crease this time, making sure our flaps are on the against this side like this. So you have these two points here. And here, pinch across here because there's new, there's more layers there we got to crease through. Now we're going to take it like this. We're going to make the crease start here, but we're going to make sure the raw edges are together, basically folding it on in on itself. See that? And we're going to do that on all four corners. So again, starts with that crease, and you're going to make sure these two raw edges are aligned. Crease it. Again here, you're going to start this crease here, this corner, and you're going to make sure these raw edges are lined up, because that's going to make the side of the barn, as you can see. Here again, it's actually not that hard to do kind of wants to go that way once you have the crease in there on the corner. There, now we're almost done actually. Now what we're going to do is unfold this again and now we're going to make a pleat right here. So we're going to bring this crease to this right here. Just like that. It's this pretty small pleat. See that? Same here. We're going to take this little triangle here we're going to bring, fold this little triangle in half with a valley fold. This is a fairly small pleat, so you kind of have to... There's not a lot of paper here, so... There you go, it's just a small fold. And then same here, we're going to make this little triangle here, we're going to fold it in half. Like this, bring this edge to this edge. Just like that. And then here's one more. You see we have these layers here and this crease we just made, we're going to bring them together. Just like we did before. And this is sort of tricky, sometimes it doesn't want to go the right way because it's not very much paper here. So Just bring it together like that and we're almost done. Now to lock the model, we're going to fold this these flaps underneath just like we did with the house. So you can see we want to make sure all these folds are on the right side. And you're just going to fold this underneath, especially make sure those little tiny pleats are going to get locked in. And you're going to fold it all the way down as far as it will go. Push it down. So it basically goes right from this edge to this edge. See that? And same here. You're going to fold this inside. Make sure you get that little pleat. I usually just pinch one side first down a bit and then make sure this is in. Pinch side that side down and then I just finish it off. So you have to make a new crease there. And then there it is, there's the barn. And um, this is actually the last video I'm going to be making for a bit because I'm going to be going on vacation so I won't be able to do a video next week. But there's the seamless barn and I will see you um, soon. So I hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for watching.